Do your vocals sound warm and full? Over the next couple minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that big, warm vocal tone. There are three main techniques that you can use to infuse warmth into a vocal that you've recorded. Those are EQ, compression, and saturation. Let's start with EQ. Now the frequencies we associate with warmth are generally the lows and low mids. Now if your vocal sounds thin, make sure that you're not cutting a bunch of lows. We might even want to boost these a little bit to kind of add some more warmth. So with the vintage tone mode, this is a great way to just add a little bit of warmth here in the lows. I wish that I could go back in time and tell myself. You can open it up with the mids as well by pulling it out. I wish that I could go back in time and tell myself. And then just morphing the mid curve here with the tone handle just allows us to tuck it in and get that perfectly open and warm sound. I wish that I could go. I wish that I could go back in time and tell myself. Now I've also got Xbox Tone loaded up after Xbox Pro in the chain. And with the shaper mode, this is a great way to just kind of overall shape your vocals after the fact. I wish that I could go back in. It's just the way the curve kind of naturally sits. It feels very warm and full, but it doesn't get too boxy or muddy sounding. I wish that I could go. I wish that I could go. So let's flip back to Xbox Pro in our chain and let's talk about the next step, which is compression. Now, depending on the compressor that you're using, you can actually infuse a little bit of natural warmth. So Opto and Fed and Smooth are pretty natural. VCA and Fed is gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Vox Bus is gonna be a little bit more gentle, but Tube plus Fed is actually gonna add a little bit of saturation and warmth that you're just gonna naturally get with a tube style compressor. And when we compress with this, we're gonna notice some of that warmth coming out, but we can also infuse a little bit more with the color here. So we're gonna turn the comp color up and get even more warmth out of this compressor. I wish that I could go back in time and tell myself, stay outside a little longer. So we're getting tons of warmth now. It's actually getting a little bit too warm. We might have to go and change some of our EQ moves, but that's just another way that you can add some warmth. Now. There's a third and final way, and that is saturation. And in Xbox Pro, you've got tape sat. This is a gorgeous emulation that allows you to just add all of that tape goodness that you get. Uh, it's gonna round out the highs nicely. It's gonna add some saturation. Take a listen to this. I wish that I could go back in time and tell myself. So when you push that way up, it really sounds like you're driving a tape a little bit too hard. So we're just gonna pull it back to a nice subtle amount of tape saturation. I wish that I could go back in time and tell myself, stay outside a little longer. Now you don't have to do all of these every time. You can use a combination of these different techniques and find the one that works best for the vocal you're working on. But this is just three different things you can try whenever you wanna add a little bit more warmth to a vocal. Before we wrap up this topic, there's one more important tip that doesn't have to do with mixing, but actually has to do with tracking. And that is the proximity effect. The proximity effect is when you get exaggerated lows when you stand close to a cardioid pattern microphone. Now, more than likely, your microphone that you're using for vocals is a cardioid pattern. And that directional pattern means that when you get closer to it, you're gonna get more exaggerated low end. And that's gonna come across as a little bit more intimate on the mic. It's gonna come across as a bit bigger sounding overall. If you stand far away from the mic, like maybe a foot away from the mic, you're not gonna get very much proximity effect, if any at all. You wanna stand, you know, three or four fingers away from the microphone capsule if you wanna get more of that proximity effect. And that's gonna allow you to get a warmer sounding vocal right off the bat. So using these steps, you can dial in as much warmth as you want in your vocal. Try it out in your next session.